I'm currently in Piedras Negras, Coahuila, Mexico, just across from Eagle Pass, Texas. This has been ground zero for massive crossings in the recent months, especially in November and December, where thousands were crossing. They were arriving from central Mexico on train. They would get off and walk to specific points where they would cross the Rio Grande River. And then Border Patrol or National Guard would escort them to International Bridge 2, which is right behind me. And that was the uh, processing center or, or transportation area for, for Border Patrol where migrants would get staged. And then from there, buses would take them to the processing center. Once processed, they get turned over to NGOs. From the NGO, NGOs, they get transported uh, further into the interior of the United States to their final destination. But one of the main reasons why Governor Abbott decided to fight over Shelby Park is because Border Patrol had taken over uh, International Bridge 2 and had set up their staging area for the migrants, which um, I had interviewed some of them here on the Mexican side, and I would ask them, like, why are you coming to Piedras Negras? And one is because they were arriving on train. Uh, these migrants are the poorest of the poor, so they were arriving on freight train, uh, just like the one you're seeing behind me. And um, also, they said it was very easy to cross the river and turn themselves into Border Patrol. Well, now, since then, Governor Abbott has pretty much kicked out Border Patrol out of Shelby Park. Uh, they've set up Constantina wire and also uh, barbed wire all over Shelby Park. There's no more staging area for Border Patrol. And as you can see here in Piraneras, there are no more migrants. The few that I've seen uh, have been at a shelter where they are doing their CBP-1 process, a humanitarian parole that was initiated by the Biden administration. And those enter the United States pre-legalized to International Bridge 2, which is also over my shoulder behind me. Um, and then once, once they're approved, they enter legally pre-legalized, just like any U.S. citizen or resident that can enter legally through the port of entry. And they make themselves to the United States uh, to their final destination. So all that was happening um, in November, December, and all this month of January is completely the opposite. All traffic has stopped on the Mexican side, so there's hardly anyone crossing over into the U.S. One of the things that have transpired here uh, this month in January is that now you have operations from the Mexican military, the Mexican National Guard, and Mexican immigration. There's uh, checkpoints uh, at different areas. They're patrolling the city, and there's hardly any, immigrant, any immigrants in sight. And the question that everybody is asking is, how come this was not done previously? Why did it, um, w what happened during that uh, agreement or that visit that Secretaries Mayorkas and Secretaries Blinken did when they traveled to Mexico and met with uh, AMLO's uh, delegate? And uh, something that we don't know to this date is what was in that agreement that Mexico has taken um, action where all the migrants in northern Mexico are being either flown or bused to southern Mexico. And now there's hardly any, any crossings here in the Del Rio sector, which includes Eagle Pass and Del Rio. Uh, those very few that make it to the border are crossing, uh, not here underneath Bridge 2 where they previously crossed, but now they're having to look uh, in more remote areas in private ranches. So those are the very few migrants that have been able to make it to the border and cross into the US. And of course, now we have Border Patrol that instead of being staged underneath International Bridge 2, now they're out in the field where they're supposed to be. And not only are they coming across the, uh, those that are turning themselves in as asylum seekers, but they're also coming across the so-called gotaways or runners, those that are trying to avoid law enforcement. So that's a major plus for what Governor Abbott has, been, has done here at Shelby Park. It pushed Border Patrol out into the field and they're actually now patrolling the border. Uh, on, the, on the other side, well, we're going to continue to see the uh, battle in the courts and see what happens here with uh, Shelby Park. But for the moment, that's what's happening on the Mexican side. Uh, no migrants in sight, but the, a lot of patrolling, a lot of uh, checkpoints that are being established by Mexican officials. And the big question looms, what was in that agreement?